Good morning, planty people. Lorinda here. It's the morning of the fair, week three, and I am so behind. I set my alarm for 5.30, and apparently my husband said I turned it off and went right back to bed. And it's 6.30 now. I have to pick up my mother-in-law by 7.30, and I have a lot to do in a little bit amount of time. I'm a little bit stressed, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> So uh, so let's get to it. Here we go. I have about 22 things I'm entering into the fair this week. Um, most of them are flowers, not so much vegetables this week. I kind of picked everything I had, but I'm still going to pick what I have today. So I'm going to enter in some green zebra tomatoes, some eggplant, a couple of my delicata squash that I've been sitting, that's been sitting on my counter for a couple of weeks, um, and, uh, and a bunch of flowers. So um, hang on and here we go. Okay, this pretty lady is coming to the fair today. This is a Florenza sunflower. Isn't she pretty? This is a very little Dahlia too. She's tiny, but she's really cute. This plant got infected with um, leaf miner, but they don't want leaves for the Dahlias, so it's perfect. <laughs> okay, I'm also entering in the Budlia again for most fragrant. And it still smells so amazing. I clipped off a lot of the dead, and then you get a second wave of blooms. I love this plant. Okay, my zinnias, I'm entering in a Benarese coral. So this one's really pretty, and then that one's really pretty as well. This one, I think, is at its peak, so I might just enter in that one. You know what, after looking at this one a little bit closer, a lot of the leaves underneath are getting a little dried out, so I think I'm gonna go with that pretty lady right there. And this pretty lady is getting entered into most vibrant color. Isn't she pretty? These are the Benary's giant varieties. Eggplant. Not sure which is a pretty one. Maybe that one, she has a little blemish right there. But I think that's the biggest one in here right now. So I think that's who's gonna have to go. Yep, that little guy's too small. So, this is it. Now I'm entering in Portulaca, Portulaca, however you want to say it, into the succulent category because it technically is a succulent and um, the category is for succulent bloom, so it has to be a flower. And every time the fair comes around, I miss the bloom. So the only bloom I have is this little one right there. I have another one plant over here and um, that little girl bloomed yesterday and they were also big and beautiful and nothing. This one might bloom tomorrow. Ooh, it looks like something ate it. So I guess it's just gonna be that little white lady right there. Not that that's a bad thing, but I was hoping to go for something with more color because it has pink, yellow, orange flowers, red flowers. Oh, I have another plant over here, hang on. Okay. So uh, that looks like those are gonna bloom tomorrow. Those bloomed yesterday. Damn, I was a day late and a dollar short. Now I somehow need to get some of those roses up there for my climbing variety. <laughs> uh, I'm so tired, I need coffee. I haven't even had coffee yet. Okay, plenty people, got my raspberries. I'm entering in my garlic. And um, there's an other category, my eggplant, my green zebra tomatoes that are really ripe, but I just flip and dropped them. So <laughs> I don't know about those. My honey boat delicata squash, they're really pretty, but they're not the same size. So I have some bunching onions in here that I have wrapped up. Most unusual cucumber, beets, largest onion for a leek, cause it's a very big leek if you ask me. Um, Climbing roses, sunflower, zinnias, pretty dahlia. I have um, little tiny begonia and the little white um, succulent bloom for portulaca, budlia bush for fragrance, my fuchsias. I really hope to get a blue ribbon for fuchsias um, sometime during this fair because I think they are gorgeous and I try to take care of them very well. Um, bougainvillea vine and um, that's that pretty lady in the zinnia category. She's beautiful. So yeah, that's what's going to the fair today.
and away we go. Okay guys, we're back at the fair. It's week three, I got all my goodies. So I'm gonna go drop it off. Picked up my mother-in-law. She has her cherry tomatoes and her beans. And um, we're gonna go. Uh, I need to pick up my stuff from last week, pick up my ribbons, and then um, do this week's drop off. Hang on. Okay, planty people, I dropped off my flowers and I'm gonna pick up my stuff from last week. Let me show you all the cool stuff that um, that's still left on the table that people haven't picked up yet. Hang on. What's the mark for? Oh, the mark? These marks here, they mark them so you can't enter them again into the competition, like the exact same vegetable. Pretty cucumbers, Donna Stevens. Those are mine, I won a, I think a second place for that, or third place, can't remember. Some beans, those are some beautiful squash. Oh, look at this, my funny cucumber. <laughs> pomegranates, my tree has no pomegranates. There's some big beans, pretty tomatillos. Some peppers, pretty grapes. My largest cucumber, I got a second. Beets, berries. There's my little eggplant, I got a third. Oh, cool. This is a bitter melon. The seeds of the bitter melon turn red when it's really ripe and they taste like cherries. They're so delicious. These poor vegetables have been sitting in the heat all week. It's a big tomato. They're in a Peters and grapefruits. And my onions. I got first place for my onions. And I'm gonna eat them. So pretty. And there you have it, people. That's this week of the fair, week three. I dropped everything off, so uh, I get to get my ticket and I'll come back tomorrow and see if I won anything. With the power of TV, here is the next day. <laughs> oh, it's feeding time. What made it feeding time all of a sudden? <laughs> oh, oh, poor thing. <laughs> So, no wonder that guy's little. He can't even get one. I know. <laughs> He's trying to find one. <laughs> he finally found one, I think. <laughs> get it, boy, get it. Get it. So funny. Get all the milks. Hi, planty people. I'm back at the fair. It's the next day. That was my mother-in-law, Connie. And um, we came to see if our vegetables won anything, if my flowers won anything. It's the third week of the fair competition. So um, I'm excited to see uh, if anything I brought won any ribbons this week. So uh, here we go. Miss Connie, what do you have in the fair this week? Green beans and cherry tomatoes. Green beans and cherry tomatoes. All right. Okay. Oh, look. I got third place for unusual cucumber. Cool. Who got first place? Oh, look. First place. Pretty cool. Who got most unusual? Oh, that one looks like a big fat caterpillar. So cool. Oh, look, Pete Peterson won for biggest tomato. Pretty cool. However, oh, that's the most unusual looking. They got third. They probably should have entered. Oh, that's the most unusual as well. Sorry, not biggest. Connie Canole. Still some pretty cherry tomatoes to me. That one third. Oh, these one first. 
See, to me, these aren't even cherry tomatoes. Those are like Romas. But um, those are pretty. She enters in every week, I think. Those striped cherry tomatoes, they're really pretty. Even these are unique. Yeah, I it's funny, they're... my grandma has these growing. I should go by and submit hers. I don't to touch them or not, but these are really pretty too. Yeah. Oh, those are my friend Francie's. Those are pretty tomatoes too. These are really pretty, but to me, these are not cherry tomatoes either. Those seem really big for a cherry tomato. Let's see what we got over here. Oh, look, this person entered in rosemary for herbs. I didn't even think that was a category. Interesting. I have a lot of herbs I can submit. I have a lot of rosemary too. Wow, Frenzy Stevens, those apples are beautiful. Sorry, you didn't win nothing. Oh, wow. Food and vegetable not listed. Garlic. Oh, they didn't win. Oh, they've submitted three things of garlic. Those garlics are huge. I submitted one garlic. No ribbon. But, uh, I, and I asked her, too, should I submit more than one? And she said no. And that one has three. Interesting. Now, these are the youth competitions. That's a big tomato. These are all the youth. Nobody wins oh, these are the youth competitions. So, so I don't think they put, they do win. I don't think they put numbers in them. Like white is third, red is second, blue is first still. These are all the youth. Some pretty ones. Okay. Hi, good morning. <laughs> Yeah, those are some pretty avocados. Those are some pretty beans. Those beans won first place. Honey canola, she didn't submit enough beans, but there were still some nice beans. Oh look, I got second place for my raspberries. So cool. And um, those were first place for, for berries. Really cool. Look! I got second place for my beets. Awesome. There's my, my nemesis, Joseph Struby. First place for his beets. Yeah. They were nice beets and um, beans. Those ones, uh. Oh, they got ants on them. Those ones are nice too, though. So that's what they like about seeing. Yeah, not too, not too oh. fat, like okay, so perfectly to slender. Oh, yeah, I got second place for my raspberries. And I got second place here for my beets. Really cool. That got third for beets. Some pretty carrots. Those carrots got first place. Some pretty corn. Those are pretty corn. Oh my gosh, that's an unusual beet. Those are some big beets. I don't think my beets are gonna get big enough. I was saving my beets to enter it in the biggest beet category, and uh, I don't think they're gonna get big enough in the next two weeks. So I might just might as well just eat them. But that's a gigantic beet. <gasps> Look at these pretty sunflower heads. That one won first place. Second place, my my sunflowers that I planted are a little late. They ain't gonna head up in time for the fair, but can't wait till they do get big. Oh, no way! I won first place for largest onion for my leek. I wasn't sure about this either, and I didn't even enter it last week. I was kind of hanging on to it. And then I thought, you know what? I'm gonna enter it anyways. And what do you know? That's two weeks in a row for the onion category. Really cool. You got second for your cucumber thing. I know. Oh look, and I got second place for this largest cucumber. Who won first place? I'll have to find it, maybe it's down there. But um, look at these giant citrus. Look at these lemons. Look at this, look at this, Connie. Largest lemon, that's like the size of a head. 
Largest tomato. Oh my gosh. That's huge. That big pumpkin. That's an actual squash. A squash. Huh. Largest squash, not zucchini or pumpkin. La Habra. Ooh. Sandy Cole. Two. Look at that big, beautiful watermelon. Some big uh, squashes there. I'm gonna go around to over here. Oh look, I got second place from an eggplant. Really cool. That's a pretty eggplant. I'm waiting for my other one to get like this, to get big like that, so I can submit. Really pretty. All these grapes, look at all these delicious grapes. I just wanna pick one and eat one. Some more citrus. I got third place for my bunch of onions. Really cool. Those were second place, and those were first place. Ready. I don't have, oh, those are pretty. I wish they would put the variety that they are. Those are some gorgeous peppers. Look at these, those are so pretty. Those are huge. They won um, Best of Show. John Yerger and his peppers. He has some really nice peppers in this competition. Oh, those are gorgeous. Green Tiger. I'm gonna have to find those seeds. Green Tiger. Thank you, Mr. Yerger, for putting your variety on there. Pomegranates. Radishes. Those almost look like beets. Pretty. Oh look, I got third place for my honey boat delicatas. Those are some pretty tomatoes. So those went second place. I got my green zebra, Nava, but it's okay. Who got first place? Over here. Struby got first place. So those are some pretty tomatoes. I wish he would put the variety. I always try to put the variety because you can. See how it says um, any other? I put green zebra, which is the variety. So I wish other people would too. Like this person did old German. Really cool. Those are some pretty tomatoes too. But those are very nice. Now off to the flowers. Here we go, cut flowers. Thank you. Oh, there's a funeral in here. <laughs> These are the best of show winners. That big old dahlia. That beautiful sunflower. Yeah, but my sunflowers aren't looking that great right now. Succulent blooms. Those are pretty. Succulent bloom. I think for my suck, little succulent bloom right there. Those are pretty. Nobody? Somebody for my bolder vine, no, didn't win for that one. Um, let's see. So I entered a succulent bloom, 
which are this little sad person right here. Um, Cause of course the ones I had didn't win too much. But this one won third for succulent oh, bloom. Oh no wait, oh, that's not oh yeah, succulent bloom. Oh. But that, who won first for succulent bloom? Oh, that's second for succulent bloom. Succulent bloom, <gasps> that beautiful Echeveria succulent bloom right there. So that's what they mean by succulent bloom. I wasn't quite sure. That one first. Okay, so for the vine, flowering vine. Oh, look honey, this one first place in a division winner, the same kind you have. Who won third for succulent bloom? Is it right here? I mean for flowering vine, oh yeah. For a trumpet vine. Oh, very pretty. Most vibrant color. Oh, I didn't win for most vibrant color, but it's still vibrant to me. Who won? That was third. This was second. Must have closed up already, though. Most vibrant color. Ooh, look at that. That's pretty. Amaranth, oh my goodness. That is gorgeous. Look at this amaranth. Oh, best of show, I guess. Gorgeous. They won a first place. I know. All these beautiful flowers. They're different cultivars. But she's going against her own self. Yeah, but you can. I'm like, just saying that. It like increases your chances. Oh wow, that's neat. They're so pretty. And there's some roses. Mini floras. Oh look, this one is a division winner first place. That's pretty. That's a pretty colored flower. That's beautiful. I know, that's gorgeous. Let's see over here. These are the youth categories. Oh look, I got third place for my Oh wow, this Annabelle. This whole section is all Annabelle. Oh my gosh. This is all Annabelle. Crazy. She's a youth. I wonder how old she is. So pretty. Oh, it's a youth? This is the youth category, yeah. Third place. Who won first place for climbing rows? It's a Don Julian. Oh, that's beautiful. I got a third for my climbing rose. And a second for a climbing species. That's pretty too. Oh my goodness. Look at these hibiscus. Look at that. Second place for that. Who won first place? Oh, this one right here. A plumeria. Oh, I got second for my plumeria. It's very recent. Oh, look at that's gorgeous. Look at that one. I won second place for my hibiscus. Who won first place? Oh, these. Those are gorgeous. I don't know. Are they just not opened, or are they just they only open that much? Interesting. That was one third. Those are gorgeous too. 
so happy about those. These are plumerias. So pretty. What variety is that? It just says pink. Look at how pink those plumerias are. They're gorgeous. Gerber Daisy. <gasps> Look! First place for my zinnia. My giant salmon. How did this one not win first place? That is a giant. Gorgeous zinnia. And my my queen salmon did. Those are some pretty zinnias too. I've taken the zinnia category for three weeks already. It's mine. <laughs> That's pretty. Who was second for zinnia? That was second for zinnia. For that pretty zinnia. How did this one, maybe because it's short and there's no leaves, I don't know, but it says State Fair variety of zinnia. Crazy. Oh, look at this dark plumeria. Hi. How are you, Good, how are you? Getting all your prize winning flowers. Yep. <laughs> Look at that beautiful sunflower. They got third. My sunflower didn't get nothing this week, but it's okay. That one's really pretty too. Who got second? Second for sunflower. That one's gorgeous. Who got first for sunflower? Where's your sunflower? That's right here. I didn't get nothing, but it's okay. I think it's still pretty. Oh, maybe first was the one that was up there. Yeah, that pretty one over there. Yeah. So pretty. Joseph Strube. Look at that iris. Look at how gorgeous that is. Oh look, I got third place for my fuchsias. Really cool. Who got first place for fuchsias? Oh, those are some cute little dainty fuchsias. Who got second place for fuchsia? Up right here. Strew got second place for fuchsia. So I think I need more blooms. I'm gonna try again. I didn't submit any geranium this week. Here are the dahlias. So pretty. Gosh, that one's gorgeous. Look, my little bicolor got second place for Dahlia. Really cool. Joseph Strube, second for that. Here's my other Dahlia. Didn't win, but uh, I think it's still pretty. And the notes said it was too young. So I needed to let it open up a little more. Well, there you have it. That's what I, I placed for the flowers. So, so excited. Thank you guys for watching this video. I know they're kind of long. All right, you guys, there we have it. The third week of the fair. Got a few ribbons, only a couple of first place. But hey, it's all in fun, and I'll take it. I don't even know what to do with all these ribbons anyways.
<laughs> Take care, and uh, if you haven't yet, get out and grow something. It's a beautiful day. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and uh, make sure you share me with your friends. That helps me move up in the searches on YouTube, and um, you have a great day. We'll see you on the next one for week four of the Orange County Fair. <laughs> Take care. Bye.